Hey, what's going on? I got six more packs. The last six packs I'm gonna open of this 86 Fleer Cello box collection that I acquired. And I'm gonna see if we can pull the Jose Canseco rookie card out of here. Any other amazing relics from 1986 is the Jose Canseco rookie card. There's a sweet Lou Whitaker. Milt Thompson. Greg Gross. You know, Roy, we can look for some funny glasses. My dad had glasses like that when I was growing up. That was that was kind of the thing then. Those glasses were they were something else. Something else. Ray Knight. There's some Blue Jay stoppers. Jimmy Key and Dave Steeb. Scott Thompson. I see. Oh, I see a good rookie card coming up here. It's not bad. Tim Wallach is. There we go. Horribly off center. Horribly off center, but an Andre Scalaraga. The big cat. Rookie card there with the Montreal Expo. That's a pretty cool one. That one's not too valuable. You could probably find that in most of your dollar boxes. At a card show. If you go to any card shows, that's probably going to be one that's in there. But Andres Galarraga rookie card. Not too bad of one. Not sure if I have that one in the in the collection or not. Not 100% sure if I have that one yet. Bo Diaz. There's a nice one. Steve Carlton. Lefty. That one's actually... That one's actually pretty centered. A lot of these coming out of these packs have been way off center, but that one is not too not too bad at all. He's worth putting up there. Not sure how many we're going to get out of here that are worthy. There's a that's another nice one there. It's a second year a second year Clemens. Second year Roger Clemens card, 86 clear. That one's in pretty good condition also. So far, not a bad, not a bad couple of packs. Tom Seaver. So we're getting getting some pretty nice cards. Getting some Hall of Famer. There's a weird one. Check that one out. That's one of those cards from this set that there's a couple of cards that have like Marlboro signs and stuff like that in the in the background. But this is a pretty famous card here. Mickey Hatcher with the giant glove. That's a Pretty cool card right there. Got some more stickers. And there's an all-star. Uh, Pedro Guerrero. Another uh, prospect card, but it's not, not the Canseco. That one is pretty centered, too. Hopefully, if I get a Canseco, hopefully it looks like that. Bob Kearney. All right. There's Ricky. That's a pretty nice one. Pretty nice one. We'll get him put up here also. Get Ricky put up there. Getting some nice, some nice cards out of here. Nothing too super valuable. Even the Canseco rookie is not going to be like unbelievably valuable, but still, it's a it's a cool card to I want to get out of a pack. I do have it. Back to black, back to back. Joel Youngbloods, Jose Cruz, and Chris Cordioli. All right, got four more of these solo packs to go here. Not too bad so far. Got some good stuff out of here. Would like to see the Mattingly Base card. Do not remember that name at all. There's Candy Maldonado. There's Dave Steve again. Mike Sosha. Jim Pankovitz. George Foster, it's a cool one, I like that one. Rod Carew, it's one of the first cards I remember having as a kid. I don't know, but yeah, it's one of the first cards I remember having as a kid. I still have the card of Rod Carew that I, when I was a kid, the 86 Fleer. It's not in as good a condition as that one's in. Oh geez, Sammy Stewart. Sammy Stewart. Way too much hair on that guy. Luis Salazar, 
Jeff Leonard. Mark Davis with the glasses. Mike Trout's uncle. Al O. Cowens. Isn't he the guy who drove O.J. Simpson in the, the Bronco? Glenn Davis. Yeah, that's a cool one. Check that out. It's funny that they made such a big deal about the Randy Johnson card in 89 Fleer. But look at that Marlboro. Got the Marlboro man there with the cigarette. 86 Fleer, Glenn Davis. So that's a kind of a unique one there. I think there's a couple more. I don't remember who it is. I saw another one in here that has a big Marlboro sign or something like that in the background too. But that Glenn Davis is pretty cool. John Grubb, Celio Guante. Dave Smith, and there's Dusty Baker. Well, getting to the end of his career. Check that out. Ron Washington. Man, Ron Washington. Bill Madlock. Jerry Royster. Is that an all-star? Yeah, we got an all-star coming up here. Who is it? It's going to be an American League player because it's in got a red background, I believe. And it is a royal. Oh, it's everybody's favorite mustache, Dan Quisenberry. Dan Quisenberry. Everybody's favorite mustache. There's a Corey Snyder and a Cecil Fielder rookie card. So it's not... Too bad. That one's pretty centered. We'll put them up there. He's kind of on the same level to me, Cecil Fielder and uh, Andres Galarraga. Similar type of, you know, on their tier of how I feel about them. And it's a nice one there. We got uh, Bob Horner and Dale Murphy, Braves dynamic duo. Mike Pagliarulo. All right, we got two left here. Might get this these packs finished here in under 10 minutes. Mr. Conseco, are you? There's another one, Dale Murphy. That's a good one. Dale Murphy deserves a place up here. Dale Murphy was a great ball player. Wade Boggs. Man, they just keep coming, don't they? Move these guys over. They just keep coming. So a nice Wade Ball man, some good condition too. 86 Fleer Wade Boggs. It's a nice one. And Tony Gwynn, check these out. I'm run, I don't even have that many stands with me. Who can I put? I'll put Tony Gwynn in front of in one of the pitchers. I'll put Tony Gwynn in front of Tom Seaver back there. And we got another all-star coming up here. Looks like it's a National League player. Gene Garber, Scott Gereltz. It's a shame those glasses went out of style. I had glasses like that when I was a kid. Some more stickers. Got Dwayne Murphy and our all-star. Let's see if we can figure out who it is. It's a Cardinal. Is it John Tudor again? I already got a John Tudor. It is John Tudor. I don't need another one of him. George Frazier. Dale Barra. Oh, that one's sticking back there. Ooh, Pete Vukovic. Pete Vukovic. With, can't tell if that's a helmet or if that's hair. Kind of hard to tell. A checklist. We got Mickey Tettleton. Dave Concepcion, hey, check it out, check it out. Cool one there, 84 and 85 American League batting champs. We got Wade Boggs and we got Donnie Baseball. Sorry, Wade, but Donnie gets to cover you up. Donnie Baseball, that's a cool one. So I pulled that one with Hinton Mattingly. I pulled, in one of the other packs, I pulled the in-action card. It has like the four sections in each corner of the card. Now I just need to get the base card. Is the Mattingly base out of here? Whitaker again. This is like a repeat pack. Let's 
some of this a lot of the same guys. All right, here we go. McDowell, Willie McGee, Kent Tacolve, Larry Herndon. Um, ooh, there's a good and Dwight Gooden in action card. That's a cool one. So that's similar to the Mattingly in action. We got Dwight Gooden in the full wind up there from the wind up to the release. That's a pretty cool one. And the last three, Jamie Easterly. And I know I don't have, oh, well, there's four left. Ozzie Guillen. I think that's, that's Ozzie Guillen's rookie card too. So, all right. Not a bad bunch of packs there, but still did not find the Conseco. Did pull uh, Mattingly and pulled lots of, lots of cool cards out of there. Got the two rookies there with Cecil Fielder and the big cat and you can see what we got there on the stands Matt the the Gooden and the Murphy got a cool Marlboro sign there and Mickey Hatcher with the big glove so there we go those are the final packs of 86 Fleer we did not get the Conseco but we did get lots of stuff go ahead and hit me up with a subscribe really appreciate if you like the video also and I'll catch you on the next one see ya